In this tutorial, I'll show you how to adjust the color of images in PowerPoint. Sometimes, when you're creating a presentation, you might find a selection of images that don't quite match because they have a different color story or tone, different contrast, different lighting, different effects on the pictures. So you can attempt to tweak this a couple of ways in PowerPoint. One of the first ways that you can do that is that you can select all of the photos and you can choose to give them a, the same color. So you can turn them from full color photos into sort of a monochromatic uh, color. So I'm going to go ahead and click on picture tools up here. And then over here I have the option to uh, click on for color. Now one thing that is sometimes people like to do is just turn things black and white. So um, the way to do that is to desaturate the picture and that means to take all the color or as much of the color as you can out of it. So let's see. This you can see I've just taken that picture and chosen to make it black and white. And again, I'm going to go over here and right there, choose again, that saturation. And then again, I'm just making it black and white. And then I'm making it black and white again. Now, it may still be that this image looks a little bit darker compared to these two images. These two seem to be a little bit darker. So I can go back over here into corrections and then I can add some brightness to the picture. And I'm just sort of rolling over the picture to see what the options are. So I found this option and I'm just kind of going to roll my mouse along and see if any of these seem to make it fit better. Uh, this would have been the last one and then this one up here would be the first. And I think that this is getting closer to look like the other image. So I'm going to just click there. And again here, I'm going to click on this picture. And I'm going to go back again now. This time I'm in corrections. And I'm just going to look at what happens if I try to make it a little bit lighter. And so in doing that, that's not too bad. So here I've gone from several pictures that didn't look terrifically related to a monochromatic black and white um, scheme and by adjusting by taking the color out I made them black and white and I was able to adjust in the in those options to make them look like they were more from a similar um, set of photos. Um, if I wanted to I could go back here as I mentioned before and I could actually add a color so up here I have the very the ability to add a color cast. I might make all the pictures blue or I could make them all yellow or gray or orange or a different shade of blue. And the colors that it's showing right now that are being presented to me are the ones that are part of this style set in PowerPoint. So they're the pre-selected colors that would match all the uh, fonts and the elements that are already in this presentation. So again, I could go here and I've got the color and I can choose to recolor. And I think it was the other blue, it's this blue right here. Yep, that I can choose. And again, I'll go over here and this is the color. And in this one again, I'll go over here to color. And I can choose to make all of these pictures look more similar just by giving them a similar kind of a, um, a coloration. And then, you know, you can tweak this as much as you want. Sometimes you want to make these images, um, um, you know, you might want to add the light and again, add more light in. You can sort of go back and forth with these kinds of corrections and make those decisions. This is the brightness contrast right here. You can click on a menu here to get a, uh, a slider bar that lets you toy with the sharpness of the picture. And you can see that made that picture sort of shoot super sharp. So if one of them looked a little less sharp than the others. And then again, I can toy with the brightness and the contrast here. So that's bringing down the contrast, that's increasing the contrast. So I can make those kinds of tweaks as well. This isn't 
PowerPoint, I mean, excuse me, this isn't Photoshop, but it does give you some of the kinds of tools that you might be able to access in Photoshop. And that is just a quick tutorial on how you can edit the color in your images in PowerPoint.